All right, guys, this is going to be a really quick video. We're going to talk about this tension arm. And the thing I want to talk about today is why adjustable tension arms do not work with the factory connection point. So first of all, we have this relationship. This is a, a triangle here. And in this arm, you can see that we have our spherical bearing pressed in. And we have our spherical cup pressed into the first part over here. Number one location. Number two. Um, and so some people have said, hey, I want more caster or I want caster adjustability. Well, the issue is, if you sweep this arm, you can see that is not a linear relationship back here. Because this angle is fixed. This triangle cannot change without a reduction or an increase in this angle. So this relationship, being where it's at now, if we're taking a straight tension arm and we're adjusting that linearly, basically what we're doing is we're putting stress on this mounting location. So there's a couple ways to solve it. Um, number one is to make this pivot which is what we do in our pro angle setup. It has a, a tension arm that say connects a little bit more over here and it has two bolts so that it can swivel. Uh, the second thing, which is perhaps a little bit easier, is to use this eccentric bushing. So we'll put this in here and we will clock it. And by clocking it, we're actually allowing this to pivot on an arc. So it's going to be on its arc there. And this eccentric will, you know, not put stress in this area because, again, it's actually rotating it about an arc. So I just wanted to cover that. Um, you know, we actually made all the connection points for an adjustable tension arm. And when we found that issue, we we're like, what, what's the point? Um, so... You know, perhaps you can give us a little bit of feedback on what you're trying to achieve with an adjustable tension arm. But what we see more often than not is, okay, there's a little bit of extra sweep here. Sorry, my camera lost its mind. So we see a little bit of extra sweep for some tire clearance for higher angle. But in general, what we see is that they often break right here, and that's because you're putting a lot of extra stress on that point. So give me some feedback. Let me know what you would like to adjust, because in order to make this work, we would have to do quite a bit of work around this joint uh, to, to relocate this. But more importantly, it kind of feeds back to what are you trying to do? Are you trying to add caster? For self-steer, that's, that's one thing that I heard today. Um, some of that can be manipulated with knuckle trail and with toe settings. Um, or getting an adjustable upper control arm. We make one that, that adjusts and gives you more caster. So tell me what you guys want uh, when it comes to an adjustable tension arm and what you're trying to achieve. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Like this video. Give us feedback. We are here to serve you guys. So... Let us know what you want. Thanks. So just one more illustration for you here. Um, zoomed out a little bit so you can actually see. We have this triangle with our angle. And we have this location. And so if we want to change this, and granted these are going to be small changes that we need to make to caster, if we wanted to make changes at all. But if we wanted to change it just a little bit, let's see, we'll just, I'll just pull that off. So you can see that we've actually moved out on that mounting point. We haven't moved this way we've moved this way. And our translation of that has been, you know, we'll call that 
uh, 0.375, it looks like, pretty close. Um, so on this, that's that's probably, you know, close to a degree and a half of caster that we've just impacted by a very small amount of movement on that back end. So this eccentric bushing should do any job that you would need it to in terms of caster adjustability. And some people have said, well, this sucks because I have to press it out to make adjustments. That's true, but this is a static relationship. So we're trying to come up with, if you want more caster, less caster, it's really a conscious decision that you're making once, and then you're making fine tuning with other things like your toe, um, or perhaps using our upper control arm for caster adjustment. So anyway, it's been a quick video. Just wanted to demonstrate that and kind of help people get a grasp on what is going on with this arm geometry.